And this is a Fox News alert. Welcome to Hannity. Tonight, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton participated in a presidential forum earlier tonight. Now, Clinton went first, where she was asked about a private email server scandal. And once again, well, she came up with a new excuse, spinning the fact that the FBI found it held classified information. Now we got a new excuse. Let's take a look at it. Classified material has a header which says top secret, secret, confidential. Nothing, and I, would, I will repeat this, and this is verified in the report by the Department of Justice, none of the emails sent or received by me had such a header. As for Donald Trump, he was asked about the military under President Obama's leadership and used the opportunity to explain how he'd take a much different approach than Hillary Clinton if, in fact, he becomes the commander-in-chief. Have you lost faith in the military commanders? I have great faith in the military. I have great faith in certain of the commanders, certainly, but I have no faith in Hillary Clinton or the leadership. You look at what's happened. And, you know, when she comes in and starts saying, oh, I would have done this, I would have. She's been there for 30 years. I mean, we need change, Matt. We have to have it, and we have to have it fast. Let's now, this comes as a brand new NBC News poll shows that Donald Trump has a 19 point lead over Hillary Clinton among registered active duty military and veteran voters. Here with reaction from the Trump Organization, Eric Trump and Donald Trump's campaign manager, Kellyanne Conway. You know, I'm watching media coverage, everybody's getting it wrong. The moment of the night was this. I think that the decision to go to war in Iraq was a mistake. And I have said that my voting to give President Bush that authority was, from my perspective, my mistake. I also believe that it is imperative that we learn from the mistakes, like after action reports are supposed to do. And so we must learn what led us down that path so that it never happens again. She voted for the war. She voted to pull out early. It created a vacuum for ISIS to emerge with the financial backing of the oil that they got out of Iraq. Wow. Okay, Kellyanne, if you are the mother of one of, what, up to 5,000 people that were killed, and here's the woman that wants to be president, oh, I made a mistake, but it's important that we learn from the mistake. You have a dead child, you have a child that lost their limbs, have, have been disfigured as a result of her decision. Uh, wow. I can't believe that's not front and center on every TV but show tonight. Not, but that's not on her. Well, thanks for making it front and center on your show, and thanks for having the Trump campaign here. That, that's not what's on, her, what's on her mind. What's on her mind right now, Sean, is that she's on the verge of losing two consecutive presidential races, because, in part because of her vote in the war in Iraq. She lost the primary to Barack Obama in 2008, where he pounded her about the war in Iraq vote mercilessly. And now you've got Donald Trump being able to take a superior position to her on this. He's saying, I was against the Iraq war, and I said we should have taken the oil and gotten out of there uh, before we got out of there. And so she, she doesn't have a lot of ground here. And by the way, it's not like it's just the Iraq war that's part of her Secretary of State and U.S. Senate record. What about Libya? What about Syria? What about the Russia reset? What about Benghazi? And look, I think this election, Sean, we're starting to see it's, a, it's complex people and very simple ideas. Mm -hmm. You either are with the 70 percent of Americans who say, I want to go in a different direction, I want change in leadership, or you're not. You either that, are with the 30 percent of America who thinks she tells the truth, or you're not. This is very simple. At 37 percent of Americans, 37 percent negative. We're on the wrong track. I think mm -hmm. this is key. Eric, I want to get to you in this forum tonight, and very specifically, I made a mistake. 5,000 Americans Oops. died, many more injured, then created the vacuum for ISIS. And I know people are critical. Oh, you, your father was critical of some of the generals. Well, I don't think Obama's listening to the generals. That's a separate issue. But seriously, 5,000 people? Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, we've got to learn from it. We're seeing there with General Flynn tonight. It's amazing. I mean, the, the thing he said, and it was very, very clear we've been handcuffed. We've been totally handcuffed. We're not allowed to do our jobs. It's no different than the Border Patrol. They've been handcuffed. They can't do their jobs. And it's not just the lives. And the lives are the most tragic thing in the entire world. It is so sad. Thousands and thousands of lives. It's also trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. And I think my father's point is, what do we have to show for it at this point, Sean? I mean, what do we have to show for it? We have 
three, four, five different countries that are in total ruin. We have civil war. We have anarchy. We have ISIS. I mean, you can't flip on the TV anymore without seeing another ISIS attack either in our country or around the world. We have pandemonium in the Middle East. Her foreign policy destroyed the Middle East. It destabilized every single one of those nations, and, and it's proven to be the absolute and disaster. And by the way, we've not even gotten to the Iranian deal. I thought her answer was pathetically weak because we're enabling the Iranians yeah. to spin their centrifuges with our money. Uh, they get to partner with Russia for missile defense. They get to build up their conventional arms. Then we've got Benghazi. Let's see. They denied 600 requests for security before. They denied help during because she was wor worried about what our military rescue team was going to wear. And they changed their uniforms four times. And then, of course, the lies afterwards. She told her daughter the truth, the Libyan president the truth. She told the Egyptian prime minister the truth, but she told us a lie. So, to me, there's a lot of things that came out tonight. Now, we learned something new. We got a new excuse. First, of course, we heard that, well, I, there was, I neither sent nor received anything classified. And I neither sent nor received anything marked classified. Now we got a new excuse tonight. Anything marked with a header, the problem is her own staff took away the header that marked a classified, and she's the only person in Washington that doesn't know that C equals classified, especially if there's no A and B before the C. That can't be alphabetical. Now, I want to play James Comey. Responding to Trey Gowdy's question on how Hillary Clinton lied again and again about what the excuses she gave to you, the American people, on the use of this private server. Secretary Clinton said there was nothing marked classified on her emails, either sent or received. Was that true? That's not true. There were a small number of portion markings on, I think, three of the documents. Secretary three, Clinton three, said, three, I did three, not three. email any classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified material. Was that true? Now, there was classified material emailed. Secretary Clinton said she used just one device. Was that true? She used multiple devices during the four years uh, of her term as Secretary of State. Secretary Clinton said all work-related emails were returned to the State Department. Was that true? No, we found work-related emails, thousands, that were not returned. Secretary Clinton said her lawyers read every one of the emails and were overly inclusive. Did her lawyers read the email content individually? No. Wow. She lied. She lied repeatedly. He f discovered that she lied. She lied about Benghazi repeatedly. And I I'm listening to her tonight, and then her saying what she did about, oh, I was a mistake. Yeah. Well, and the funny thing is, the ironic thing is, Sean, that Matt Lauer couldn't even get to all of Hillary Clinton's foreign policy failures because he had to spend the first 14 minutes, and I credit him for this, on her email server and then on her vote in Iraq. I mean, she was on defense from moment one, and she looked it. I don't think the Clinton campaign could be very happy with tonight's performance. I don't think it looks good for the upcoming debates. And that's not a loop that they're going to want to have rerun and rerun. And I would just remind everybody of one thing. Republicans in the past have been what I call hearing impaired when it comes to doing these hearings, and they don't do a very good job. This was masterful today by Trey Gowdy. Just lay out the well, It was a couple premise. of weeks ago. He, oh, yeah, it was masterful. And look, yeah. for Jim Comey, I want to remind people, uh, I want to remind people that he's under oath when he testifies in Congress. Um, Why isn't she under oath? Well, she's not under oath when she's at a forum. He's not under oath when he gives a press conference. And I, I think that you're going to see that in the ad. This, the, you're going to see that what you saw tonight in an ad this fall. Let me just to. remind, and I'll get Eric's response to this, because she gave multiple answers as it relates to the email server scandal, and it kept evolving. And tonight we got a new explanation. Let's roll tape. Laws and regulations in effect when I was Secretary of State allowed me to use my email for work. That is undisputed. It clearly wasn't the best choice, um, and I take responsibility for that decision. I thought it would be easier to carry just one device for my work and for my personal emails instead of two. iPhone or Android? <laughs> iPhone. Okay, in full disclosure, BlackBerry and a BlackBerry. I have a, a, a you know, a, an iPad, a mini iPad, an iPhone, and a BlackBerry. I believe I have met all of my responsibilities, and the server um, will remain uh, private. In order to be as cooperative as possible, we have turned over the server. They can do whatever they want to with the server to figure out what's there or what's not there. 
Uh, but not only did they not clean the server with a cloth, as she glibly told her own Ed Henry, um, but they actually used bleach pit to make sure, as Trey Gowdy said, that God couldn't find those emails, some 33,000. Uh, when you look at the evolution and yet a new excuse tonight, what are your thoughts? I'm a civilian, and I just think the American people deserve a lot better than this. I mean, it's, it's disgusting. You see that whole train. You see the lies. You see the deception. You see the lies to Congress. You see the lies to the Department of Justice. Right? I mean, it, it's, it's really disgusting. The American people deserve better than Sean. I think that's exactly why my father's running. You know, I mean, you see the corruption down in Washington. You see the amount of money that the Hillary Clinton, you know, that the Clinton Foundation took in, the amount of money that they've profited off of government. American people I've never seen anyone enrich themselves. In this kind of oh, well, what are your other takeaways here? Because on Libya, it got short shrift yeah. in a little bit because before there were 600 requests. During, she was arguing about what our rescuers should be wearing, and after were the lies. Then it's the Iranian deal. Then it's her answer on the VA. Well, VA corruption still exists today, and they weren't, they're not waiting six days. I think your dad said six days. No, they've waited years. People have died because they had two sets of lists, and bureaucrats got their bonuses based on creating the second list, which is corruption at the highest level at the expense of our brave men and women. So the fundamental difference between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump is this, and you can't get it in one hour uh, town hall forum tonight, Sean. It's that he's out there giving policy speeches every day. What did he do today? He went down to Philadelphia, went to the Union League, and gave this military preparedness speech on the day that he also is giving commander items, in chief. Right? She it. didn't do that. So if you want to know what his full plan is as commander in chief, go read that speech. If you want to know what his plan is on middle class tax relief, on law enforcement, on communities of color, on defeating radical Islamic terrorists, on uh, education tomorrow. I mean, we're going to have uh, Obamacare coming out. In other words, y at least you can see Veterans Reform Act, 10 point plan. She doesn't do this. The liberal media, I can tell, already is fixated on, well, Donald Trump said that the, he's questioning the general, saying he knows more about ISIS. What's your response to that? No, I think it's crazy. I think my father's exact point has been the generals have been handcuffed. And I said it before. That's how the I interpret it as well. Has it's been handcuffed, and so have law enforcement across the country, and so have our border patrol across the country. You need to give them the tools that they need to succeed. They've been asking for the tools, and they've been denied those tools. We have amazing military. We have the best military in the world. We have the leaders there to beat ISIS. ISIS is in. I mean, ISIS is a force. Yeah, but, the, but the key is Obama, Kerry, and Clinton don't listen that's right. to they're, the they're general. Not, that's right. And he mentioned all three of them. In fairness to him, I hope people will play, will play the full clip. Eric and Sean, because what Mr. Trump said was, Matt Lauer said, do you have a problem with the military? You questioned it. He said, no, I respect the military. It's President Obama and the leadership that has We're going to get into that and play it in full. He took on so. Kerry later on, too. But yeah. look, the polls are tightening. I think the Clinton folks are getting nervous. And why are the polls tightening? They call Donald Trump unfit and unpresidential. So you know what's happened? He shows that he's presidential. He goes to Mexico. He's Louisiana, Mexico, Louisiana, Baton Detroit, Rouge, Canada, Detroit, Chief, you name it. Philly today. Yeah. Now, America, what's her greatest liability? Her greatest liability is people think she lies for a living. What's happened to that? That's only gotten worse. Well they said. made a mistake. Right. Guys, good to see you both. Thank you. Thank you.